appendix full. Some songs may not be available. <laughs> What's up, family? Hey, hi, hello. How you doing? Um, I'm outside of my sister's house right now. Sister number one, her house right now in, oh my gosh, this is the sketchiest, one of the sketchiest parts of town, so you know, gotta keep your head on the swivel. Um, but waiting for her to come out so that we can ride to sister number three's house because it's her birthday weekend. Yes, my sister was actually born on Christmas Day. She's a Christmas baby. So, we normally celebrate her birthday right before the actual holiday. Or just do some real chill the day of. But, come on, toy. Yeah, I don't know what's happening with sister number one. Like, I just got off the phone with her and told her that I was coming around the corner. And I was actually coming around the corner this time. Like, I wasn't even bullshitting. And then I text her that I'm here. Here she is. There she go. All right. But yeah, off we go to my sister's birthday party. Smoking on the low, I still been plotting on the low. Scheming on the low, the farthest thing from perfect, like everyone I know. I just been drinking on the low, mobbing on the low, fucking on the low, smoking on the low. I still been plotting on the low. What's up, family? All right, we are back in the apartment. Um, so you guys saw that we did. In the last vlog, we got the dining room table together and the chairs together. And then off camera, like the next day, this has been several days since then. But a couple days later, um, my brother, who's like really good at putting things together, I guess, um, he came over, or at least he has the patience to put things together. He came over and he put together my fireplace mantle, which I love so much. Because I always wanted a fireplace, but you know, certain people in certain circumstances, they never allowed me to fulfill my dream of having a fireplace. But as on my own now, I don't got to ask nobody for nothing. Like, I make the rules. I'm the king. I'm the chief. I'm the boss. So I decided I want a fireplace, so I got a fireplace. And my big brother came and put that fireplace together. And I'm about to show it to y'all now because I want to stock it up a little bit. Um, I put some things on it once he finished it, but I want to like... Um, I went back to my mom's and I got the rest of my books and all the other things that I collected to put on it. So I just want to do that now while we're here. And I also needed to grab my COVID card from here because... Come a little closer. Let me whisper in the air if I quit. Your girl got another job. I did. I really did. So I had applied, you know, at my job, the one I currently work at at the school... We had like switched principals and everything. And so she, like every staff meeting we've had with the new principal, she has just like made it a point to keep telling us that like, hey, this is the direction that the that we're gonna go in now. And if you don't like it, you can go. And this isn't for everybody. Like basically telling us like, this is the way we gonna do things. And if you don't like it, you can chuck the deuce and be out cause I'm not changing it. And it is what it is. And then just the feeling like really underappreciated um, cause it's like, we went from being paras and counted, one second, no more, sir, you already had them in, you don't need another, pick those up, put them back in the jar, thank you, love you, bye, but yeah, so we went from like, being like, oh, you're so appreciated to all of a sudden it was just like, um, non-certified staff, we about to have a meeting, and non-certified staff this and non-certified staff that and it's like well damn like a lot of us is walking around here with like a whole ass degrees but you keep making us feel like we don't know nothing we can't figure things out like we don't know how best to help the students either even though we're the ones who deal with them the most but it's cool whatever 
You don't got to tell me twice, Susan. You said it. I heard you. And I went on about my way. So, applied for another job um, that deals with my degree. And two interviews later, I got it. Like, I really got it. I got my offer letter on the 29th. And then accepted it, sent it back. They emailed me on the 30th. I was like, okay, here's this. Here is all the information that we're going to need from you. And we're going to see you on January 9th for your first orientation session. I was like, okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool. <laughs> Love that. But yeah, so I had to come back here. I said all of that. Like all of that. That long song and dance. Said all of that because I had to come back to the apartment to get my COVID card to prove that I have my shot because for the new job, they want that. That's part of the paperwork I have to send in for onboarding. Um, so yeah, I had to come here and get that. And while I'm here, I was like, you know what? I might as well finish stocking up my fireplace. So come watch me stock my fireplace. Oh, there she go. There she go. Still got to get like all the little styrofoam bits off it, but look at her. There she is. There she go. There she is. And it came. Oh, yes. My little Goodwill dollar piano tchotchke found its home. But it came in like 50 million pieces. And my brother, by himself, one man, 50 million pieces. By himself, put this together. So proud of him. But yeah, let's stock this thing and get some heat at the same time. Cause oof, I have it on the heat setting right now, and I'm so glad. Oh, ow, burn! All right, let me stop kidding around and just get this together. Done putting all the books on there. I hope y'all enjoyed Theo's little performance. Um, it was very impromptu, spontaneous. Didn't even know he was doing it until I watched the tape. Um, but yeah, all the books are loaded up. Got the whole Harry Potter collection, you know, Gryffindor for life. Um, all of my Harry Potter books are up and ready to go. Um... I don't think I need like one or two more little tchotchkes to put on there. Please put that back, sir. One day I hope you do read it, but now is not that day. Because mommy has them in order. One to seven. So yeah. Um, let me flip it around. So there it is. With all the books. So far, I do plan on getting a lot more books to add to this. But yeah, and then my TV there. Uh, 
slowly but surely coming together. And this heat coming off of this thing feels glorious. But okay, so now the assignment is... Please just stop, guys. Why did I want kids? Why did I want kids? Um, but now I'm going to try to put up some curtains. Um, so I wanted to do like, well, for like the two main living room windows, I do have curtains that like I want to get that I haven't gotten yet. Please leave the vacuum alone. Why? Why? You have vacuumed all the things that need to be vacuumed. There's nothing left to vacuum. curtains so yeah I wanted to try to put up some curtains that I just ordered um I have these here like the valance so this top portion and then the bottom portion and I originally just wanted these curtains for like this tiny little kitchen area and then going on a field trip um that window there and you know the little ghetto ratchet window here uh just the tension rod only problem right now is the tension rod that i purchased is not big enough for well not it's definitely big enough it's actually too big what i meant to say was it's not small enough like it doesn't shrink down enough to fit in any of the smaller windows so I need to go find another tension rod or see if I can like finagle another way because the, where did my mother put them? She's always putting things away like somebody other than me is going to be here. <sighs> Jesus. I know I really have to call her to ask her where something is in my place. It's great. It's awesome. I love it. Loves it. <sighs> like seriously, where did she put them? And I didn't show you guys, but I had when I went grocery shopping, um, I added all the spices that I got into this drawer. That's where I want to keep them. But I am getting different uh, spice containers. They just haven't come yet. So this is pending. But just know that this will be my spice cabinet. Uh. All right, let me, I'll be right back, y'all. I, I really got to call my mother to ask her where something is in my house. How does that work? Okay, so I put one piece of the curtain. It's really thin. I didn't realize it was going to be this thin. So I got that. Um, hold on. Flip that around for y'all to go to there. But it has to, like, this is supposed to be the bottom portion, and then it has, this is supposed to be the bottom portion, and then it has the valance, which is supposed to go on top of it. But, I don't know. I don't even know, y'all. And, anyway, I don't have the proper, I don't have another tension rod. Like, I already explained to y'all the tension rod situation. So... I don't even think I'm going to be able to do curtains today because, because it is New Year's Eve and Dollar Tree is closed. So I cannot go and even try to look for like different hooks or anything because they're not open. So I'm going to have to try tomorrow, maybe if they're open, maybe they have like modified hours, but yeah, it's a no go on curtains today. So we'll just stay with the blinds closed. Um, but so originally I was thinking like over the mantle, my brother advised like I get like a 43 inch, like no bigger than a 50 inch television so that I don't dwarf my fireplace situation. But last um, Black Friday last year, I was able to snag one of the projectors that was on sale, like $100 I think or something like that. Same time that I got my vacuum and... I'm actually 
yeah, there it is. I'm actually thinking about using that as my television. Well, as like the television for the living room space. So, I've taken it out of the box. And... <sighs> so many lights. Yo, I'm dead serious about this light bill. There we go. So... It came with a screen, which is not one of those um, like plasticky ones. This is actually like a linen screen, which I guess I'm again not complaining. So it came with the screen, and then it also came with the projector there, and then it did come with like ropes and hooks and stuff. So I'm thinking that for now, before we leave the house, of just like at least putting the hooks up and hanging the projector. Like, scared the mess out of me. My purse just fell. So I'm thinking of at least hanging the projector from like lamp to lamp. Like there and calling it a day like that. So I'm going to try to do that now. And I was thinking of like waiting until I had somebody else here to help me. But then I thought, but then I thought to myself, listen, it's just going to be you and your babies here. And you're going to have to figure out how to do things when you don't have a big tall man around to get things accomplished. Women have been doing this for thousands of years, okay? Your mama did it by herself. Everybody been doing it by themselves. <laughs> so I'm gonna figure it out of how I'm gonna hang these hooks up here and have them be semi sort of a straight line. We gonna see. She turned on camera and now you're in her way. Oh, of the sun. Of the sun, yeah. I'm great. No, 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 Okay, so we got the screen up. I had to like double it because it's so long that it could honestly take up that whole wall and that would be doing like the opposite of what I wanted to do. Please stop kicking the chair. Yeah. So I folded the screen in half. I folded it in half, but now it has like this little wrinkle situation, which isn't my favorite. So I'm thinking if I get double-sided tape, I can just stick it and I'll avoid all that. And then like it has like that little droop there. So get some double-sided tape and stick that to the wall, stick that back portion and then stick another piece between the two to get them together. And bam, screen. So yeah, slowly but surely, it is coming together. Slowly but surely. Good morning, family. All right, so, oh, Happy New Year. Add that in there, by the way. Um, let me set y'all up real quick. Okay, 
so it is new day new year um blessings to everybody moving forward um i'm getting ready to go to church um so well first i need to wash my face because i need to do my makeup and get like really fancy looking because afterwards after church i need to take a selfie of myself of myself to send to the new job for my badge which when did jobs start requiring you to take your own badge photo? I'm not complaining about that though because now I can make sure that I look nice for this badge that hopefully is going to be with me for years to come. It's not some crazy looking picture where like one hair is out of place and my smile looks weird. So, but it, it's just weird to me. It's like when you go to the hairdressers and they expect you to have your hair already washed and dried and greased and parted. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Let me know. Is that weird to you guys? Or is that just what they do now? Because even at the job I'm at now, at the school, they didn't expect me to take my own badge photo. But, you know, to each their own, I guess, I suppose. Um, so I'm going to wash my face, do my makeup, and then we're going to church. And then I'm going to take my work photo, and I have to stop at the... Um, market to get a money order for the rent um which can i just say i didn't plan on getting a money order to pay my rent i intended on paying online like they told me to however in order to pay online you have to like give them your bank information and then they basically like want to put a hold send money to your account to verify it and then once that they send the money to your account, they like take the money out and then your account is verified and then you can pay your rent. And that takes one to three business days. And it is a holiday weekend. So I feel like that one to three business days is about to be a whole lot longer than one to three business days. And today is the first. So I need to have the rent in the drop box by today at least. Uh, which sort of kind of my fault too because I just got so caught up in everything else of life that it never even dawned on me well not even really because I didn't get paid until the 30th so even if I would have on the 30th logged into the like resident portal and created a little account to do the verification thing, there's still no guarantee that my stuff would have been verified by today for me to pay my rent. So either way, I was gonna have to get a money order. Like, like in a rush to do this. And I wish I had something to keep my hair back, but I don't. So. I'm really trying to embrace rocking the twist out instead of always up in a ponytail or something. Oh, where's the towel to dry my face? Oh, Father, give me strength. Why me? Why always me? Whatever, I'll find something. Oh my God. Okay, so face is clear. Well, not clear, but clean. It's clean. I washed it. Um, now time for me to do my makeup. It's like 12:35 or something like that. So 
and church starts at one. It's like five minutes away from the house right now, so I'm not that far, but I don't want to push it. are done and I have like a drop of water on my glasses whatever I'll clean it when I get downstairs to my purse um makeup is done my lip liner and lipstick are downstairs in my purse I can put those on in the car yeah my kids should already be dressed I just gotta go put on shoes and then off to church Yeah, you're the young guy.